Undoubtedly, Hollywood has produced some of the most talented personalities in the entertainment industry. But sometimes, fame and success can overshadow the darker aspects of their lives. Today, we will explore the controversial side of Tinseltown by counting down the top 20 sex addicts in Hollywood history. From scandalous affairs to shocking revelations, these stars have struggled with an insatiable addiction that often led to their downfall. However, for some, it also paved the way towards redemption. Join us as we delve deeper into the lives of these troubled celebrities who could not escape the grip of their desires. Renowned actor and producer Michael Douglas has made a significant impact in the film industry with his diverse range of memorable roles and productions. Born on September 25, 1944, in New Brunswick, New Jersey, Douglas comes from a family deeply rooted in Hollywood, his father being the legendary Kirk Douglas. Douglas gained widespread recognition for his captivating performances in numerous films throughout his career. Two standout roles include Gordon Gekko in the 1987 classic Wall Street and Dan Gallagher in the psychological thriller Fatal Attraction, released in the same year. His outstanding acting skills earned him critical acclaim, including an Academy Award for Best Actor in Wall Street. However, Douglas' life hasn't been without its share of personal battles. In the late 1990s, he openly discussed his struggles with sex addiction and alcohol, leading him to seek professional help through rehabilitation. This brave admission shed light on the challenges many face, helping break down stigmas surrounding these issues. Additionally, in 2010, Douglas faced another significant challenge when diagnosed with stage 4 throat cancer. Determined to overcome this obstacle, he underwent rigorous treatment and eventually announced he was cancer-free in early 2011. This experience further showcased Douglas' resilience and fortitude both personally and professionally. Despite these hardships, Michael Douglas continues to remain active in the entertainment business, producing quality content, and delivering compelling performances. With his indomitable spirit and unwavering dedication, he leaves behind an undeniably rich legacy in the world of cinema. Born on November 5, 1913, Vivian Lee started her journey in acting at a young age. Her natural talent and captivating stage presence quickly gained attention, leading to her first film role in 1935. However, it wasn't until her iconic portrayal of Scarlett O'Hara in Gone with the Wind that she became a household name. This role earned her critical acclaim and cemented her place in Hollywood history. Despite her success, Vivian Lee faced significant challenges throughout her life. She struggled with mental health issues, specifically bipolar disorder, which caused highs and lows in both her professional and personal life. Additionally, she suffered from chronic tuberculosis, which further complicated her already complex situation. Yet, even during these difficult times, she never lost sight of her passion for acting and continued to grace the stages and screens with her extraordinary talent. One of her most memorable performances came when she took on the challenging role of Blanche Dubois in Tennessee Williams' play A Streetcar Named Desire. Once again, she proved her versatility as an actress, earning rave reviews and another Academy Award for Best Actress. Throughout her career, Vivian Lee left behind a legacy of unforgettable performances. Despite being plagued by personal battles, she refused to let them define her. Instead, she channeled her energy into creating art that has resonated with generations of audiences. Today, we remember her for her extraordinary talent and dedication to her craft, making us wonder what other remarkable performances we might have witnessed had she enjoyed better health. Indeed, Vivian Lee remains a timeless figure in the annals of cinema and theater history, leaving behind a body of work marked by depth, intensity, and sheer brilliance. Even now, her impact continues to reverberate through the years, inspiring aspiring actors around the globe to step onto the stage and bring stories to life just as she did so masterfully. Kevin Spacey has enjoyed a successful career as an actor, known for his compelling performances and ability to take on diverse roles. Born on July 26, 1959, in South Orange, New Jersey, he began acting in childhood and went on to study at Juilliard School in New York City. Spacey's big break came in the late 1980s when he appeared in several films, including Working Girl and Glengarry Glen Ross. However, it was his role as Verbal Kite in the 1995 film The Usual Suspects that catapulted him to fame and earned him an Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor. He later won another Oscar for his portrayal of a troubled suburban father in the 1999 movie American Beauty. Despite these accomplishments, Spacey's reputation has taken a hit due to numerous accusations of sexual misconduct. 
In 2017, several men came forward with claims of inappropriate behavior, some dating back decades. These revelations led to Spacey being dropped from several high-profile projects, including the Netflix series House of Cards, where he played the lead character, Frank Underwood. Legal proceedings followed, further damaging Spacey's image and career prospects. Since then, Spacey has made efforts to return to the public eye, but they have largely been met with resistance. His appearance in a 2018 Nike commercial drew criticism, and his performance in a two-minute YouTube video called Let Me Be Frank received mixed reactions. Some questioned whether Hollywood would ever fully embrace him again. Through all the ups and downs, one thing remains clear, Kevin Spacey's contributions to the entertainment industry will always be remembered. But so too will the controversy surrounding him, casting a shadow over what once seemed like a promising career. Renowned American actor, Rob Lowe, first gained fame as a teenage heartthrob in the 1980s. His good looks and charming personality quickly caught the attention of audiences and critics alike, making him one of the most popular young actors of his time. However, like many child stars, Lowe's career faced its share of challenges. One of the most significant setbacks came when a private sex tape featuring Lowe was leaked to the public. This scandal rocked his personal life and career, causing him to take a step back and reevaluate his choices. Despite this setback, Lowe refused to let it define him. Instead, he used it as an opportunity to reinvent himself and prove his talent beyond his teen idol status. He began taking on more mature and complex roles, eventually earning critical acclaim and cementing his place as a respected actor in Hollywood. Two notable projects include his role as Sam Seaborn in the political drama The West Wing and Chris Traeger in the comedy series Parks and Recreation. These performances showcased his versatility and range, proving that he was much more than just a pretty face. Lowe has also been candid about his struggles with addiction, particularly alcoholism. In interviews and memoirs, he shares his experiences battling substance abuse and how he ultimately achieved sobriety. By opening up about these personal battles, Lowe hopes to inspire others facing similar challenges to seek help and overcome their addictions. Throughout his career, Rob Lowe has proven to be a resilient force in Hollywood. From overcoming scandals to sharing his personal story of addiction, he continues to captivate audiences and earn respect from both fans and industry professionals. With each new project, he leaves a lasting impact, reminding us all why we fell in love with him in the first place. And while his journey may have had its fair share of obstacles, Lowe remains focused on what truly matters, growing as an artist and continuing to tell compelling stories. Charlie Sheen's career as an American actor has been marked by memorable performances and high-profile struggles off-screen. Born Carlos Erwin Estevez on September 3, 1965, in New York City, Sheen comes from a family deeply rooted in the film industry. His father is Martin Sheen, and his brothers Emilio Estevez, Ramon Estevez, and Rene Estevez are also actors. Sheen first gained recognition for his role as Chris Taylor in Oliver Stone's critically acclaimed war film Platoon. His portrayal of a young soldier struggling with the realities of combat earned him praise and solidified his position in Hollywood. Over the years, Sheen appeared in various films like Wall Street, Young Guns, and The Three Musketeers. However, it was his work on television that would bring him unparalleled success. From 2003 to 2011, Sheen starred as Charlie Harper in the hit sitcom Two and a Half Men. His performance as a womanizing bachelor brought both laughter and massive ratings to CBS. Regrettably, during this time, Sheen grappled with substance abuse and legal troubles, which ultimately led to his public dismissal from the show in 2011. After being let go from Two and a Half Men, Sheen experienced further turmoil, culminating in revelations about his health. In November 2015, Sheen made headlines when he announced that he had been diagnosed with HIV four years prior. Since then, he has become an advocate for raising awareness regarding the virus and combating stigma associated with the disease. Despite numerous challenges throughout his career, Charlie Sheen remains a significant figure in modern cinema and television. He continues working on projects while managing his health and personal life. Warren Beatty's impact on Hollywood is undeniable. Born on March 30, 1937, in Richmond, Virginia, Beatty began his acting career in the late 1950s. He quickly gained recognition for his good looks and charismatic personality. However, it wasn't until he starred in the groundbreaking film Bonnie and Clyde in 1967 that he became a household name. Beatty played the lead role of Clyde Barrow, opposite Faye Dunaway as Bonnie Parker. 
The film depicted the real-life story of the infamous criminal duo during the Great Depression. Its release sparked controversy due to its graphic violence, but it also received critical acclaim for its innovative editing techniques and strong performances. Today, Bonnie and Clyde is considered a classic of American cinema, and Beatty's performance helped cement his status as a leading man. Throughout his career, Beatty has been involved both behind and in front of the camera. In addition to acting, he has produced, directed, and written several films. One of his most notable directorial efforts is the epic historical drama Reds, released in 1981. The film tells the story of journalist John Reed, who chronicled the Russian Revolution. Beatty himself portrayed Reed, alongside Diane Keaton as Louise Bryant, another radical journalist. Reds earned 12 Academy Award nominations and won Best Director for Beatty. Despite his professional success, Beatty's personal life often made headlines. Known for his many high-profile relationships with women in Hollywood, including Joan Collins, Julie Christie, and Michelle Phillips, Beatty eventually settled down. In 1992, he married actress Annette Bening, and they have four children together. In conclusion, Warren Beatty's contributions to the entertainment industry cannot be overstated. From his early roles in television shows and movies to his successful turn as a producer, writer, and director, Beatty continues to inspire aspiring actors and filmmakers today. And while his romantic escapades may have dominated tabloid coverage throughout the years, his talent and dedication to his craft remain unmatched.